Let's say we have an 18 kilogram shopping cart and this shopping cart is being pushed by a 52 newton force at 26.8 degrees below the horizontal and there's a friction force of 5.5 newtons and we want to find the weight, the normal force, and the acceleration. First thing we do is create a free body diagram that shows all the forces acting on this object. First force we're going to look for is weight. Now weight is mass times gravity. In this case, mass, 18 kilograms, times gravity, negative 9.81 meters per second squared, gives us a weight of this object of negative 176.58 newtons, negative because it's acting down. The second force that we know we have is the friction force. And the friction force is negative 5.5 newtons, negative because it's acting against the forward flow or roll of the cart. We have a person pushing on this cart at an angle of 26.8 degrees below the horizontal at 52 newtons. Now anytime you have an angular force you have to divide that angular force into its horizontal and vertical components. In this case, the horizontal component is 52 cosine 26.8 degrees, which gives us a horizontal force of 46.3 newtons, positive because we are pushing the cart forward. The vertical component is 52 sine 26.8 degrees, which equals negative 23.45 newtons, negative because as we push down on the shopping cart handle, we are increasing the weight. Therefore, our normal force is created by a combination of the two downward forces, negative 176.58 newtons and negative 23.45 newtons, which gives us a normal force of 200 newtons. So now we have found the weight, negative 176.58 newtons, the normal force, 200 newtons, and it's time to look for the acceleration. So we have to find the F net. F net vertical is the sum of our all vertical forces. And we have already calculated that normal force is 200 newtons. The downward forces include negative 176.58, the weight, and the downward push force, which was negative 23.45. The sum of these forces, 200 newtons, minus 176.58 newtons, minus 23.45 newtons, gives us a net force in the vertical direction of zero newtons, because the shopping cart is neither sinking into the floor, nor is it jumping up off of the floor. This then turns us to the horizontal forces. To find F net H, the sum of the horizontal forces, we take the push force, which gave us a horizontal force of 46.3 newtons. We have a frictional force working in the opposite direction of the horizontal, negative 5.5 newtons. So the sum of the horizontal forces, 46.3 newtons minus 5.5 newtons, gives us a F net horizontal of 40.8 newtons. Using F net and Newton's second law, F net equals MA, or F net divided by M equals A, plugging in the F net, 40.8 newtons, dividing by the mass, 18 kilograms, we can calculate the acceleration of the shopping cart to be 2.27 meters per second squared.